M0 FXB Zygu X6200 new firmware version 1.03 Today is the 15th of October 2024 I'll provide a link in the description Let's go down click where it says click here Just there And you'll see the firmware appear once you click the Zygu X6200 And there it is there says here 14th of October 2024 click that it's going to download into your download folder just here as it downloads and we're only actually interested in one file but it'd be nice to see the change log so let's have a look at that click your down arrow click the zip we'll have a quick look Right, SD card image is the one we're going to use. Let's have a look at the release notes. So number one, added support for mobile phone FT8CN. That's handy. Although the, the X6200 does receive FT8 on screen, it doesn't transmit. So this will give it that ability, and probably via Bluetooth. Adjust the ALC control algorithm it'd be nice to actually see that on screen again we'll test that correct the some incorrect CIV instructions added a read channel memory to VFO button to the channel editor interface so memory to VFO so I noticed that if you want to select VFO memory you have to use the microphone at the at the at the moment because there is no VM button on the radio so let's see if there maybe there's a touch one improved the built-in charger algorithm noise reduction algorithm AGC algorithm and easier settings in Wi-Fi connection timing bug in automatic key bug there is no sound when the CW side tone volume is adjusted okay so there are some notes here as well about the performing the update and I'll put those notes in the description but you know firmware is risky um, so some people have been known to you know the radio stops working after these firmware updates and they've had to send their radio back to Zygu. So back to the update you're going to need an SD card I use a 32 GB SD card just a micro SD card and an adapter so you can plug the card into your PC looks like this this is the actual one I use so I'll put a link in for that so let's do that and then we're going to need to format the the, the micro SD card so mine's plugged in there and then I'll just format it it's showing as G and I'll just go SD and I'll, I've downloaded SD card format so you might as well use it because it always works well Follow the instructions, format. Right, so the card's ready to be used. Download Rufus, I'll put a link in the description as well. Double click the shortcut for Rufus and you end up with this window. Now make sure you've got, in my, my advice is fully charge your battery and plug in your DC power supply into the radio. And you can see that my radio is flashing green when it's charging. It's not turned on at the moment. I'll leave it off. So now let's burn the image. So we're going to select that image. So Rufus here. Select. And we're looking for just, if we go to my, we need to get the right one, the new one. Select. Then go. I've got it on my desktop in a folder called firmware. Let's find that in alphabetical order there it is there and there it is there's the new image and then you just click start you'll see here it has selected the G start click OK get the warning and it's gonna burn that onto the SD card the micro SD card and when the the bottom line is full you're ready Right over to the uh, to the radio.
to correctly eject just go to your files go to the SD card right click and go e and select eject okay so the card faces with the gold side forward carefully put it in make sure it goes in nice and straight and just gently click it into place don't force it we've got the power connected it's fully charged now let's just hold down the power and turn it on I'd hold it for a few seconds so it comes to life and then let go we'll let that run live if you're worried then or bored just fast forward There it goes. So some people say, is this X6 200 better than the 100? It's, it's, it's a hard one to say because the case design is really nice. And they've, they've added air band, haven't they? It does feel, it does feel like a better device, you know, just overall it feels like it's better, improved. Um, Right there you are. Hopefully that's done, and then we can take take the once you've got a black screen there. Just wait a few seconds just to make sure. Push again, and take the card out completely because if you don't, it will start to try and run the firmware again. And now press and hold to turn it on. And we'll get an antenna on there as well. My long wire, 49 to 1 ballon and long wire. Yeah, it looks very nice. Okay, we've just installed the firmware version 1.03, October the 14th, 2024. We've connected my antenna 49 to 1 ballon. We've run all the firmware processes. We're just going to have a quick look through here. Two of the things they said they have added is if you go to memory, they've now added a memory to VFO. So if you've got a memory channel saved, you can send that to your VFO. You do still use the, your microphone here where it says VM to go to VFO and memory. And yes, you can name the memories. So we just go memory and then let's do a, let's, let's tag that one and we'll just call it A for now otherwise we'll be here all day. There you are, saved, just close and now that the memory is called A, just here and then you can send it to the VFO or you can erase exit that now the other one was wi-fi that they talk about so we'll go to system across to wi-fi with the bottom left knob select now i've, I've had wi-fi on here before so it might just remember it so there's my there's my it's found it's you know it's found found it straight away You've got auto connect if you want it but we'll hit connect this button here Now I've tested this a couple of times now and it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's running smoothly. So it says it's connected, okay, it still says Wi-Fi connecting, but it says connected and it'll just keep doing that. Now if I exit, I can't, but when I do, there we are, it's showing Wi-Fi. And I'm just going to check my my network on my computer. And uh, yes, it is showing up. Right, back to 40 meters, sounding fine. Got the different filters. Noise reduction. Usual watery, but you can adjust it. You've got noise blanker. DFL filters there. Three default looks normal. 
And they are saying that when you're in CW mode and you go to DFL, they've updated it. Okay, so you, I don't really use that, but CW DFL. I'm not seeing the sort of ALC on screen. If we turn on the audio scope, which you can do in display settings, just go and we exit here. General button to exit, display, select audio scope, exit. And then just turn the back bottom knob and you get your audio oscilloscope back. But what we used to get was the ALC showing. We had more information on screen. We're not getting that. Do a quick test transmission. M0 FXB test, test, test. M0 FXB test. Didn't see anything on the power there. Let's just do the tuner. Tuner. It showed a bit of power there. Uh, not so much when I spoke. I don't like whistling, but I'm going to whistle. Now I've had this before and I had to turn up the mic gain. So settings. Uh, look for mic gain. Handle mic gain. There it is there. Does it go up? It goes up quite high. So I'll set it to about 15 for now. Exit. Let's try now. M0 FXB test. Yeah, straight away. M0 FXB test. So there's a little tip there to get your mic gain turned up. Um, maybe that was too high, we can test that, but it's definitely a tip worth knowing, I think. So they're saying fix the bug, the compression switch is inverted. Adjusted the ALC algorithm, NR and AGC. Timing bug for CW, DFL filter, fix the bug. Um, wireless LAN, which we know does work. And Bluetooth, let's have a look at Bluetooth system. I'll just show you wireless LAN again. Select, and we are connected. I'll, I'll even try and log into it, but let's exit. Bluetooth. And select. Ooh. A lot showing up there. I'm going to turn the Bluetooth on on my phone. See if it shows up. So we'll just turn it on. What are all those numbers? Yeah, well it's not showing up, but... Let me just do the scan thing. I, mean, I don't know what all those... What are all those numbers? It's not showing on my PC, but maybe one of these is my PC, but wow, what's all that? So not sure about that. Exit completely now. I noticed it just for those that want it, there is a factory reset there, and there's the WF server that was there before. We just turn that on just for fun. We'll do that, and we'll go start, and that allows it to instantly connect, pretty sure it's via Wi-Fi, to WF view, and you've got your username and password there, what's the Chinese writing? Okay, you can choose Chinese or English language, I guess, and you can set the time there as well, NTP update. Okay, while we've got the Wi-Fi connected, let's see if we can do the OpenTX mod. So you need to download WinSCP, and when you open that, it looks like this. So we just go WNSCP, there it is there, open that shortcut, and you get this window here. So as we know, we're connected via Wi-Fi, and I looked up in my Wi-Fi search. 
and you'll see it's showing up as 192.168.0.114 with the Wi-Fi connected. So we'll put that here. 192.168.0.114. Normally you need to get this quite near to your router to make this work. The username is root and the password is 123. And then you just go log in. And if it works, you'll get this. Click accept. And we're in. Now double click the folder here. And we're looking for ETC. Look from the top. ETC just there double click ETC and now we're looking for a folder called X radio XG radio just here take your time XG radio and then in here we're looking for one called conf XG radio conf double click and see it says disable there change that to enable you need to get the right word, don't spell it wrong, it says it above, yeah? And then at the top here, go save. Okay, so hopefully we can reboot the radio and see if that actually makes any difference. One second. Over to the radio, and this is version 1.03 firmware, October 2024. So we're going to turn it off. And then turn it on. And if it doesn't work, at least you know how. And I, I've made this video before, and the screen did change to what we wanted it to do. But at that time, it didn't actually TX on my test. But it did with a newer firmware. I think 1.01, .01, it did work. Let's that come on. And look, you've now got um at the top there quite small a little red thing here and then the idea is that you can now you know tx where you shouldn't do but don't break the rules don't go outside your licensing conditions i'm not even going to test it but yeah that did work bye for now